We had to check if this headline was a joke, but evidently it isn't. Uh, this is from NBC News. Ron DeSantis hit with an ex ethics complaint. Ron DeSantis hit with an ethics complaint from Trump Super PAC. To be fair, it isn't Trump himself filing the ethics complaint, but Trump's Super PAC, which is not exactly far off. Vince Colonna is here, editorial director at The Daily Caller, radio host at WMAL Washington, D.C. Is ethics really a conversation that Donald Trump and his supporters want to have? Well, he's definitely trying anything he can to sort of find a spot to land a punch on Ron DeSantis. I, I honestly, I compare the two guys almost like MMA fighters. Ron DeSantis kind of hanging back, waiting to pick his strikes, whereas Donald Trump is inviting him, baby, dive from my legs. The second you come for me, uh, we're going to we're going to go to a ground and pound because that's where Trump's comfortable. He wants to take him down uh, and start wrestling in the mud with this guy. And uh, DeSantis so far, he's just not even mentioning Trump, really he's saying, hey, look at my record. Uh, and the rest of it is just noise at the moment. <laughs> you weren't even going to give me a laugh on if Trump wants to talk about ethics? Come on. Trump's entitled to talk about... Oh, look, they can try anything they want. Oh, right, this is no, what no, they, they're they can. Right but, I mean, you just, you just think about everything that Trump has gone through and all of the issues. If you want to make this about ethics of all things, it just doesn't it just sort of ring hollow? Sure, okay, I see, see where you're going. Look, here's the thing about Trump, though. Look at how many nonsense allegations and efforts were actually pursued against him. There's like like an endless cascade of the walls are closing in on Trump. And it's like so much frivolous nonsense that brought the country to a halt. So the, the idea that like we're constantly going to attack Trump for for anything, uh, it's just so I don't know. It's like it's so insane. It's so distracting. To the yeah, no, it, it, it's, right it's, now, a fair, it's a fair point. But you, you go to this issue of what exactly that Trump is trying to land any punch. Tr Trump is trying to pick this yeah. fight with Ron DeSantis. Uh, here's yeah. just some of Trump's attacks on DeSantis. Take a listen. Ron was a disciple of Paul Ryan, who is a rhino loser. Paul Ryan's a big reason that Mitt Romney, I'm not a big fan of Mitt Romney, lost his election. And to be honest with you, Ron reminds me a lot of Mitt Romney. So I don't think you're going to be doing so well. Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10 percent. I got him the nomination. He didn't get it. I got it. But then when I hear he might run, you know, I consider that very disloyal. All right. This would be the question, right? Is yeah. that every other nickname, low energy Jeb, little Marco, whatever they were, they were mean. But they kind of rang right. true. There was there was something about them that worked. Every one of these attacks on DeSantis just patently falls kind of flat, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I, and this is why I think he's going to keep workshopping those. Yeah, I think he takes a lot of pride in the whole nickname game. Uh, so people ask him about it. He still he says he's still workshopping. It. I heard somebody the other day say that he's like contemplating using Little D, which is kind of funny. I actually laughed out loud when I heard that. So maybe <laughs> that's the one he'll settle on. Uh, but this is this. Uh, this is kind of he's like I said, he's all over the place, because, look, a week ago, uh, my colleague at The Daily Car, Diana Globova, asked uh, Trump at CPAC whether or not he regrets endorsing Ron DeSantis back in 2018. He said, no, 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 I don't regret him. The other guy would have been a disaster. Uh, and then now this week, he's now saying, actually, I do regret endorsing him because he's disloyal. Trump is clearly feeling out, you know, what's going to actually resonate with his mm -hmm. base. And, and to your point, this happened back in 2016, too. Look at the relationships he developed with people like Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz after he leveled just vicious attacks against them. And in Ted Cruz's case, his wife uh, and his father, for that matter, he said he was involved in the JFK assassination. So there is there's no telling where this goes. But the truth is, I, I think Trump's style is he's just going to feel around until he finds something that's effective with his base. Yeah, you make a great point. Both Ted Cruz uh, certainly uh, came crawling back. Uh, to Donald Trump, even after all that. Hey, Vince, it's always good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.